Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Terraria. So I got a couple updates to give you for today. Uh, let me sell some of these extra weapons that I got. Um, got a bunch of people that moved in over the last couple episodes. And um, I was I was jumping on, I was gonna build some, some stuff, but move some people around. I basically logged in to, to kind of get the NPCs that I had um, a home and a bunch of them moved in. Okay, so let's run through some of the ones that moved in. Uh, let's start underground here. So we got the, you guys saw the um, Tinker, Goblin Tinker here. Um, he's the one that does the reforging. So you take your weapons here or your, your gloves. Uh, let's do the blue. No, I don't want to do the counterweight. <laughs> let's do this one. We'll just do a couple here. Angry, damage, that's fine. Alright, so that cost me a little bit. When he's when he's down here, right? Stop it. Dude, can you like move away from your... There we go. When he's here, he's gonna cost less. So he he's gonna be down here. Wow, it's expensive. Two gold? Why is that so expensive? Well, like if I wanted to redo this, it's one gold. Yeah, reforging is expensive. Um, I think if we were to bring down the mechanic, put the mechanic down here, this would be even cheaper. That's not her preferred biome, but uh, it makes him happy for some reason. We also had the, the clothier guy move in, go to his shop. Once you have two or more in a preferred biome, you get the access to the pylon. So I don't have these guys um, a good place to live yet. So um, anyway, so the clothier is just some stylish stuff if you want to spend spend your uh, gold on, on that, you can. Um, the next person that moved in was over here in the desert. So we had seen this guy already right so now that he's here he sells the de desert pylon he sells some dye whatever um let me pull up give me just a second here i'm gonna pause this and open up my spreadsheet here okay so let me tell you how these guys move in so let's see if we come back over here the nurse moves in when where is it at uh oh this needs to scroll up a little bit so let's zoom out there we go so the nurse moves in uh when you have 100 plus health and you have this merchant here so gilbert i think gilbert moves in like fairly quick um, it's gonna be somebody else but this is the merchant and you can tell that he's the merchant by if you go to housing and you come down to his name he's the merchant so when you have a hundred health or more and the merchant the nurse will move in her preferred biome we don't have access to yet so she's hanging out here uh, the zoologist that's this one here so again if you come to her name click on her she's the, the zoologist um, she prefers the forest and she moves in when you have 10% of your bestiary um, unlocked and that just means like when you've encountered 10% I don't even know how to get to the bestiary uh, nope I have no idea how to get to the bestiary anyway so once you've encountered a certain number of monsters and passive dudes or whatever you'll see her uh, and these two guys you start off with him all right so then we go down to the cavern um you know about how to get the the goblin tinker so again that's this guy here the goblin tinker the clothier moves in after you defeat skeletron so in the last episode we defeated skeletron over here and now he moved in. Uh, the demolitionist, that's this guy here, moves in uh, once we 
we could just have an explosive in our inventory. That's all that that takes. And then over here in the desert, um, this guy is the die trader. You just have to have a die in your inventory and he'll move in. Similar to the arms dealer, you just have to have a um, bullet or, let's see. Yeah, just have a bullet in your inventory and he'll move in. Now you can buy from this guy um, ammo, which is really important, and something called the mini shark, which is really good for ranged. So if we were running a ranged uh, build or playthrough, mini shark would be something we would pick up. Now over here in the jungle biome, we had both of these two people move in. Now the druid is really, really important. That's this girl here. The Dryad, my bad. She gives us a little bit of interest, a little bit of information. So, um, my my world is seven percent crimson. So all of this here, seven percent of it is crimson. So that's not so bad. But we want to try and get rid of all that. She also sells us the jungle pylon. She sells us planter boxes for the different kinds of plants. She sells us the different kinds of seeds for all those plants. Um, we can buy sunflowers from her and importantly we can buy some purification powder. We're gonna want one of these to unlock an NPC later and we'll just kind of keep that on us. You can buy all kinds of stuff from her. So she's really important. She also gives you a regen buff. That's not true but Apparently your health regens more when she's around. She also does the most damage out of all the NPCs, I guess. This guy is the painter. So if you click on, if you hover over him, that's uh, Mauro the painter. It could be, could be named a bunch of other things. Um, you can buy a bunch of decor from him. Is that the same thing? Or you can buy a bunch of paint from him. So he's got a couple different um, different shops. So you can buy a bunch of wallpaper. Um, yeah, so he's just a, another decor person. I can't remember. Was the was the angler on that side of the ocean? I think so. We're, we're going to pick him up later. It's not really something that I'm too worried about. But anyway, we had all of those guys show up. And since we did, I picked up some pylons. Now, all you got to do when you buy the pylon is purchase it and then just place it down. So if I were to pick this up, what it looks like is when you place it, uh, oh, I'm just clicking here. What it looks like is that, right? And um, so it's gonna, it's gonna not gonna look like a pylon. So if you're thrown off by that dumpy, just place it down, and then your your thing sh uh, shows up. Now again, if you remember when I was talking about the pylons, um, you need to have. NPCs near the pylons and you need to be near the pylons in order for you to use them. So you can scroll out. I have four pylons. I'd love to get another one over here on this side of the map. Um, we're a little bit heavy on this side, but this is where the desert was and this is where the jungle was. So I'm, I'm probably going to put the ocean over here uh, just to get on that side of the planet. But today we want to run through the, uh, the dungeon. So let's do that real quick. I also found out about the rocket boots. Remember how I was like, well, you can't fly with these things. Okay, they're a triple jump option. So this is the double jump, hit spacebar again, and you got a flight. So it does absolutely allow flight. And you can kind of toggle it there. So I was doing spacebar kind of off, on and off to get myself some flight options. So we have quite a lot more mobility. You add that with um, the grappling hook and yeah, we can get around very well. So I'm sorry about misspeaking about that. And then yes, I think in the last episode I was kind of unclear about Skeletron's name. I wasn't sure he was named Skeletron pre-hard mode, but I guess so. Alright, let's run over here. Fight the hordes of bad guys. And we'll just jump down in the um, in the dungeon. Nice. 
Oh, I didn't triple jump. One, two, three. There we go. Man, there is a 7% really? It seems like 20%. So the crimson is spreading, unfortunately. Um, I just hope it doesn't spread so fast that we can't overcome it later. I don't think that's something to be worried about, um, because once we get far enough, we can we can kind of clean it up. So, oh, the other thing I did is I opened up all my presents. So to do that, you just right click on it, and it gives you some stuff. And then I sold my extra stuff for a bunch of gold. So I got duplicate, um, I got duplicate like armor, vanity items, stuff like that. Um, some of the weapons aren't aren't great, but if you're just starting off, they're they could be all right. Wow! Just drop on top of me. All right, since this has a wall behind me, we can place torches down. Now you're gonna want to be careful with these. These right here are spikes, so we're gonna drop down and kind of look around. Um, oh. So we're getting some bad guys. Let's come up here and kill them really quick. What just dropped there was a gold key. That dropped from the mage guy. So we want gold keys. Oh, I got two already. Okay, that's not bad. Um, we want to open these chests. These chests are... Ray, right, step on... Darn it, I got poisoned. Um... Oh, let's get my flinks out, because it's going to help us in here. Uh, you're going to want to watch out for traps. There's lots and lots of traps in here. And of course, my dog decided to start eating now. It's totally fine. I'm going to pick up this heart. That's really good. And I'm going to use one of my keys here. So you consume your... Oh, yes! The Miramasa. That's one of the things I wanted to find here. I'll we'll just kind of loot it all, and I want to pick up the chest. Um... So one of the things I wanted to find here, this is a frozen key that we don't have. And you can pick up these if you want. And just be sure before you drop down, like you're not dropping down onto a trap or something. Because there's a lot of them in here. Okay, we're gonna spend a lot of time here, so let's see if we can go down a little quicker. You wanna break everything. Just in case you can get some more golden keys. Alright, so I was gonna try and show you about that, but it's okay. Silver key? No. Or gold key? <laughs> All right, do you see the difference between this block and this block? If you fall like I did on top of it, it will drop away, right? And so I'm assuming down at the bottom of this is all death. Yeah, my dog is a super loud drinker. All right, so let's see if we can make it over here. It's gonna help with the rocket boots. Um, you can use your ax on it and it'll break away large chunks of it. If you find yourself stuck and you can't get through something, look for this kind of block because it will be the way through. And I'm almost almost 100% sure down there is all death, so I don't want to drop down there. When you see something like this coming, just grappling hook up to the ceiling and get, get around it that way. Oh, nice little creepy clock. Alright, that's all breakaway blocks. So we'll come over here, we'll open this. Okay, we got a cobalt shield, that's good. Nothing crazy though. Any more keys? No. So... I wonder, I don't know for sure, but I think keys drop from any, any monster. I'm not actually sure on that. But the Miramasa is one of the ones I wanted to find. Okay. 
as you can see, this is kind of a dangerous place. Um, but if you got some mobility, it's not the worst. I think that was just bone. Oh my goodness, the bad guy's down here. <laughs> Aha, here's the other thing I wanted to find down here. See that person trapped there? That, I believe, is the mechanic. Or is that the... I think that's a mechanic. Okay. You guys are being jerks. Alright, let's talk to her real quick. Yeah. No, this is the, uh... Sailor. Anyway, so this is our redstone person. So this is our wire. This is how we wire up stuff. This is going to be really important for us. For us later, so... We found her. The other thing I wanted to find here was this here. This is a bewitching table, so let's place that down. And you right click on it, and now we can increase our max number of summons as a melee guy. Which is great. Get a golden key? No. Uh, maybe it's just the. Uh, oh, there's one. Excellent. We'll go get that. What? Okay. I can't break. I can't break the uh, the walls. That's good to know. But I can break the magic. So that's good. And it's confirmed. Any of the mobs um, drop the drop the golden. Cause I did not kill a magic guy there. Okay, handgun is pretty good. Pretty good damage. These guys will shoot you through through everything. It's really annoying. Oh, mimics are really great. Oh, and this is not a mimic. This is a uh, a slime guy that we want. These are good. I feel like I just wasted a golden key, though. <laughs> so what slimes are is... Remember how I said that there was a requirement for NPCs to be around the, the pylons? Sometimes you need to move the NPCs around, like the mechanic, to... Uh, to get better bonuses and stuff, or like if you're wanting to move uh, one of the NPCs we haven't found yet, um, if you wanted to move her somewhere else, um, you could do that. But then if you do, if you do that, then you lose the number of NPCs around the pylon, and you won't be able to use it anymore. Well, the pets also count as NPCs uh, towards the pylon usage count, so that's great. Um, we basically found almost everything I wanted to find, which is crazy. But we'll just keep exploring, see what else we find. Okay, Blue Moon's okay. I mean, there's tons of stuff in here. <laughs> I don't really like those kinds of weapons, so uh, I'm not too excited to get them. Oh, another golden key. Sick. I just open whatever whatever golden chest I find first. What is this? Tree statue? What in the world can that do? I haven't talked to you much about the statues, just because we haven't been able to use them yet up until now. Now that we've got the uh, mechanic, um, we can... We can... Uh, use all the redstone stuff and statues are a redstone thing so one of the things you can use you when you wire up a statue it turns it on so um let's say that you've got a bat statue right when you wire it up it will make the make bats spawn and you can use that oh that's a way down over there um, and you can you can use that for gold, a gold farm. You can use that for drops if you're looking for certain drops. Um, 
like there's a there's some things that drop have a low chance to drop in um, pre-hard mode so you know you take your your statues down to a certain biome oh my goodness it's so dark down here oh that was scary Um, you know, and you can you can get these drops. Oh, forceful valor, thirty-two melee damage. That's way better. Excellent. Oh, and the shadow key. That's the other thing I wanted from down here. All right, so that's all the stuff that I wanted from from here. Uh, let's see, how are we doing on time? Oh, we're doing just fine. So we can keep exploring. And see how everything goes. I mean, we're, we're kind of handling the bad guys. Just fine. I think there's a pressure plate here that I can't see. Yep, right there. Okay, is there another pressure plate? Oh my goodness. We're actually hurting. So let's heal up. Just hit H as a reminder. I haven't had to do it much, so... <laughs> What do we got here? Ooh, magic missile. That's like my favorite magic wand. So I'll show you what that, like one of my favorites. I'll show you what that does. I need to go back to base and make a bunch of, um, a bunch of magic enhancement stuff. Do we have any more, more, uh, keys? No, I don't think so. All right, let's head back to base. So this is the dungeon. You can spend a lot of time in here looking for whatever you want to find. Um, basically we got the good weapon from each, except the summoner, um, for each of the different kinds of weapons. So let's grab, you know, let's put away some stuff. We'll put the bewitching table over here. There we go. And then, um... <laughs> we'll grab our summoner staff. We'll just grab our. Now that we can carry two of them, so we'll get both of those going. And then I want to check something on the wiki. Give me just a second. My apologies. I'm gonna pause the game. I don't remember the full recipe, but we're gonna go for. Aha, right. Okay, so we're going to put these away. These are all my melee weapons. So this this is a, an important accessory for later. We have upgraded our Amazon to the Valor. Uh, so we can sell this one. We wanna keep this on us and basically any duplication of anything you wanna sell. Right, so here we can sell this crab statue. We can sell um, all of this. But before I do that, I wanna put bone is gonna be in mob drops. Let me sort all of this stuff real quick. We'll open up the presents. We can have all of these, we can sell all of this. Um, banner. Place that down. This is going to be an accessory. I put banners over here. I had two banner boxes. I don't know if any of y'all caught that, but um, we'll put magic weapons. I did rearrange a little bit. Tree. Do I have a tree, tree statue yet? Nope. Put ranged weapons in here. So the handgun is pretty good. It's 30. Let's sort... Yeah, that's my highest one. Um, and it shoots muskets, I think. I can't remember. Put that away. I want to keep the key. This summons the Eye of Cthulhu, so if you want to farm the Eye of Cthulhu, you could, you could just summon that. I think we did use that early. 
These are consumables. All right, let's go sell these these extra things just for some money. We're gonna need a lot of money for um, the reforging in this game. It's nuts. These don't sell for much. 11 silver is pretty good. 22 silver is not bad. This no value, so we'll just delete that. Um, spike has no value, so we'll keep it. This has one gold, almost two gold. That's pretty good. Uh, these are mounts here. So if we wanted a different mount, we could grab these. So this is a dusty saddle. That's a brown colored horse. This is a golden colored horse, maybe. And this is like a black horse. So we can we can buy those now it's kind of cool all right let's come down here we'll put i guess we'll put the spikes and wheel drops yeah that, that works all right let's pull these out and go remind ourselves what the recipe is for the magic uh, the magic upgrades because I want to show you I want to show you that magic weapon is pretty pretty cool Capricorn helmet no enchanted boomerang that's something that we could use Cool uh, So this is why we want to buy the mini shark so <laughs> the star cannon so once we get 20 meteorite bars um, you can actually use the fallen stars as ammo for a star cannon and it's pretty powerful glowing fishing bobber increases fishing power by 10 what that's really cool okay oh it just takes five uh, all right let's go craft a bunch of those we're gonna get more of these these things fall all the time at night and is it here? Yeah. Start with five. I don't know what the max is. Let's do, how many does this give us? A 140 to 160. Let's do two more. I think 200 is the max. Okay. So we're not going to be doing crazy amounts of damage with this thing, but one of the things I like about it is it has homing, cast a controllable missile. I don't know about controllable. Basically, it launches really fast. And it like... Oh, it's morning. Bummer. It launches really fast. And it like has a little bit of a hum humming to it. See that? Like, I can cast it here and then it'll come after something. Which is really cool. So if I'm holding my left click down... It tosses it out here, and then when I let it go, it goes after the nearest nearest mob. Super powerful weapon, really fun. Uh, so it was a magic, if, if I was playing through magic and had a magic gear on, that would be that would be something I would be really interested in having. I might keep it on us just for fun, but, um, but yeah. Alright, so... I am going to run down to the... I'm going to go prepare for something else. Uh, and then I'll be right back. Okay, we are back in the dungeon. There's one more thing we got to find in here. So let's drop down here. See if we can find it. <laughs> Did you hear that? My dog. It's funny. So, we're looking for an alchemy table. It might be a little farther in. I don't have to worry too much about finding um, uh, keys or anything. If we find any keys, it's fine. I'm going to try and see if we can just find ourselves an alchemy table. See, that is crazy good, isn't it? Alright, let's 
see if we can find ourselves an alchemy table. I keep hitting my head on the stupid... They're gonna kill me. You gotta be careful with those spikes. They actually do do a lot of damage. Okay, any alchemy tables up here? No. Okay. Let's keep going. Just gonna try and fly. I wish these light uh, pets would automatically place torches from your inventory down. That would be super useful. I was chucked down here. Bop. Come on. Let's see if we can find anything down here. Uh, have we been down here? We have. Alright, so we're going to come down a little bit farther. Not to die. Great. Great job not dying. Oh. There are alchemy tables down here. You'll know it when you see it. Oh. Didn't quite make it. Good. Oh, nice. Okay. This way then. Okay, so this is just it just wraps around. Alright, we'll ignore that. I think the mobs also get hurt by by the spikes. Oh, there's a key. Excellent. Uh, let's see if we can kind of sneak our way over that. Should get an alchemy table here pretty soon, I would think. Ouch! There we go. Surprised we haven't found one yet. This is crazy. Okay, let's go over here. Perfect. The traps, man. Whoever designed these traps in this game really did a really good job. The developers, but the person in charge of it that put these traps here was like very clever. Like right there. You're going too fast, you can fall right down on top of that. Try to avoid it and still hit it. Okay. Seriously though. Bro. Okay, Miramasa again. Some gold though. That's good. Again, like how do they know I'm gonna fall right there? It's crazy. Can I sneak under these? No. Of course not. And another trap there. Saw it. Not gonna get me this time. <laughs> It's just a game of exploration until you find one. I might cut. We're running kind of long on time. I might cut and bring you in when I find one. It's just kind of fun to play through and kind of get the stuff as it comes, right? I think so. But okay, 
Coming that way, perfect. Ah! Okay, that was a well placed. You cannot see down here. Come on. That's a dangerous. That almost. That almost killed me. What am I doing on health? Let's drink another pot. <laughs> okay, this is this is a drop down here. There's a lots of lots of pathways in the dungeon. So uh, hopefully this is helping you. Cause the first time I came down in here, I was like, okay, there's nothing to this dungeon. How in the world is there people? Like, is there two dungeons? Like, how are people finding? Um, all of these things. Uh, okay, so there's no way I'm getting through that without getting injured. I'm just gonna pick all this up. Okay. It's a huge, huge dungeon. I mean, this goes forever. Oh, who is this? Oh, hey -o. we want you too. Um, cool. Yeah, I'm glad I kept coming down, because I would have missed him. That is the tavern keep. Yeah, he's available down here once you defeat the Brain of Cthulhu or the Eater of Worlds. Um, this is another trap, by the way. You will, you will die <laughs> if you fall on that. They don't have, like, mo good mobility. This might circle back around. There we go. There's an alchemy table. Excellent. So we'll use that. Use our key here. Pick this up. So just some more stuff. That's literally just some more, uh, stuff to sell. All right, cool. We got another NPC. Now the tavern keep also belongs in a biome that's the same as the nurse. So let's assign him to this room because that'll be our our extra biome, guys. All right, cool. Let's drop the alchemy table down. I'm gonna make something and then I'm gonna close out the episode soon. So in my inventory, let me just sort all that that out real quick. Uh, come up to our potions. This is just gonna be so prep for next episode, right? Grab yourself a fire blossom. Uh, or vegetation here. Fire blossom, uh, a water leaf, and let me check the recipe one more time. Oh yes, uh, obsidian. So sorry about all that. Um, so come over here, grab yourself one obsidian. And then what I want you to do is grab a bottle. So I think it's in crafted here. Grab yourself a bottle. Go find some water. We got some water up here. We got we got lots of water close by. And I think it's just crafted. Right, so you're near water. Craft yourself a water bottle. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to the um, the alchemy table that we just found. Now there's the alchemy table and then there's the brewing stand, right? So the alchemy table is the one that we want. And you're going to craft yourself an obsidian skin potion. This is going to be in a fire blossom. This can be found down here. Um, so if you need to go all the way down to, to down here, you can. Um, but find yourself a fire blossom. I only had one. Get yourself a water leaf, you should find a bunch of those, and a, one obsidian, and then a water bottle, and then you can craft an obsidian, obsidian skin potion. We're going to need this for the next episode. Um, so get that ready, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye.